Eric Ten Hag is ready to unleash a front three that completely destroys Man City defense with pace. Man United returned to Premier League action against Manchester City after nearly a month without a domestic game. Manchester United will be looking for their fifth Premier League win on the bounce when they face off against unbeaten Manchester City at the Etihad on Sunday afternoon. Eric Ten Hag's side haven't played in the Premier League since their 3 minus one victory over Arsenal, but the Reds have clashed with Real Sociedad and Sheriff in the Europa League since then. United lost 1-0 to the La Liga outfit before securing a 2-0 victory over the Moldovan side. Anthony Marshall, who has only featured once in a competitive match so far this term, could return for the clash with Pep Guardiola's side after training on Friday, while Marcus Rashford also featured at Carrington ahead of Sunday's derby. Though his international stars appear to have returned to Carrington mostly unscathed, Ten Hag still has some injury concerns ahead of the Manchester Derby. Captain Harry Maguire is missing for the fixture having sustained an injury with England. Meanwhile, summer signing Martin Dubravka had to pull out of the Slovakia squad due to injury. Despite his lack of training this week, there is a chance that Rashford could start against City. The England international has been in impressive form so far this campaign, registering five goal contributions in six matches. He was expected to be called up to the England squad before being sidelined with an injury. Cristiano Ronaldo's role on Sunday is likely to depend on the fitness of Rashford. The England international is expected to be flanked by Anthony who scored on his debut for the Reds, and Jadon Sancho, who has also made a solid start to the season. The attacking trio are likely to line up in front of a midfield three consisting of Scott McTominay, Christian Eriksen, and Bruno Fernandes. The back five should see Diogo Dalot, Rafael Varane, Lisandro Martinez, and Tyro Malaysia looking to protect David De G. Luke Shaw scored for the three Lions against Germany, but is unlikely to start the derby, while Fred and Casemiro could also start on the bench. In other news, Eric Ten Hag faces his biggest test as Manchester United boss when his side travels to the Etihad to take on Manchester City on Sunday afternoon. The Red Devils have won each of their last four games in the Premier League but haven't played in the Premier League for nearly a month, with a combination of the Queen's death and the international break bringing an end to United's momentum. After suffering back-to-back -back defeats against Brighton and Brentford in his two opening fixtures, Ten Hag looked doomed to be another failed United manager, but his side have bounced back with impressive wins over Liverpool, Southampton, Leicester City and Arsenal. While Scott McTominay has silenced critics with some eye-catching form in those games, earning above a 7-10th rating from who scored in three of his last four Premier League appearances, Manchester City presents a very different challenge for United. Considering the huge threat posed by City's creative players, perhaps most notably Kevin De Bruyne, Ten Hag should consider handing Casemiro his first Premier League start. De Bruyne has six assists in his first six Premier League games of the season, so is clearly on top form at the moment and must be nullified if United are going to take anything from the game. The Brazilian joined United from Champions League winners Real Madrid during the summer, having become one of the most decorated players of all time during his time with Los Blancos. When he joined, Rio Ferdinand was full of praise for the 30-year-old, saying, First and foremost, the guy's a real winner, he knows how to win, he's been integral in everything positive about Real Madrid in recent years. The 300 pounds K per week midfielder is something of an expert when it comes to winning, and has a CV filled with experience in big matches, so he could be the ideal man to stop De Bruyne on Sunday. Last season saw Casemiro average more tackles, interceptions and blocks than McTominay would in the Premier League, which suggests that he holds the edge when it comes to defending his own goal. Casemiro started when Real Madrid Madrid triumphed over Manchester City in the Champions League last season so he knows what it takes to defeat Pep Guardiola's side, and his immense experience and ability mark him out as the ideal man to stop De Bruyne from running the show at the Etihad this weekend. If you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest Manchester United updates. Manchester United